Sure, but you'd think he'd put something else in there regarding ethics. God gave us humans ten laws, and only one of them was don't hurt each other. Main character wakes up from a nightmare cliche, incorrectly eating pie. Also, it's alarming how easily this movie's opening few minutes of Will Smith doing shit could substitute for the opening few minutes of Will Smith doing shit and I am legend. Alarming, I tells you. Also, showering without a shower curtain. How does anything stay dry in that bathroom? Get the hell out of my face, Ken. You can hate robots, that's fine. But don't you want your package? Honestly, like, let's be truthful with each other here. That hat is the worst thing about this movie. And yes, I know the movie is a giant turd. That's how bad that hat is. Excuse me, sir. Main character's disdain for robots absolutely hammered home by the four-minute mark. If you've come for subtlety, oh hell no. Also, if the robots have all the shit jobs, what's the unemployment rate like in 2035? Closing in on 50%? God damn it, young Shia LaBeouf dragged this movie into him, didn't he? Stop cussing, because you're not good at it. That's for sure, but still, he said, let me borrow your damn ass keys, which is more an assault on basic grammar than it is an assault on cussing. Actually, he barely even cussed. Whatever, I already hate this movie. Nice going, movie. At the beginning of Spooner's sneaky crawl, he's only at the second opening in the hallway. But as soon as Gigi says, You talk to Marcy? He makes it all the way to the stairs, making Spooner the fastest stealth crawler in the world. Congratulations!